Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. Today, our topic is handheld HDR on Ricoh Theta cameras. The camera model we are going to talk about are the Theta V and the Theta D1 at the same time. But until recently, I finally dived deep into the handheld HDR feature and today I would like to share my experience with you guys. And with handheld HDR, you can capture everyday lifestyle shot, high dynamic range photo, handheld, in-camera stitch, auto leveling, fully automatic, without app. My name is Yu Xun Guo, 360 photographer lover and specialize in one-shot 360 photography. If you want to start over and master your one-shot 360 camera beyond professional, this channel was made for you. But before we get started, uh, I have two articles that I would like to share with you guys. I think you will get a very deep understand about the Cita camera series. One of the article was the interview about the product manager of the Cita D1. And you can find this article on the citalab.com and I will put the link down below. Uh, the other one is the Rico Cita Z1 update verification and developer interview written by Nato Sang, Nato Somense. Uh, Nato Sang is a, a great guy, has written dozens of insightful articles in the 360 industry. And I will put this link down below. So now let's talk about the two camera models with handheld features. There are some small differences between these two camera models. So I will show them to you one by one. So first up, let's talk about the Theta V. And let's open up and I will show you the setup and how can you make handheld HDR as your default settings. And I will put my camera here. Now this is my YouTube studio. You can see in the auto mode, there is a handheld HDR option. So different from the Ricoh Theta SC and SC2, now in Theta V and Z1, we have one more option in auto mode. It's the handheld HDR. Scroll to the, to the right and you can find the option. You can take a very good HDR image. Although you can, you can see now I'm uh, holding the camera and uh, take that shot, you can see I'm, I'm shaking my hand, right? I'm shaking my hand, but even like this, this Theta V will capture a very good handheld HDR image for me. You can see here, you can see that. This is very good, they're very interesting, right? And you can set this settings as the default settings. Uh, first, you uh, set the, the handheld HDR and go to the settings on the top right. And after that, you can see that uh, for self timer, usually I need two seconds because if I was taking with selfie stick handheld, two seconds is good enough for me to put the camera to the place I want. Normal shooting, auto mode, two second countdown, and the camera shutter volume, I recommend set to high because that will give you a very good feedback about every operation inside the camera. Go to my settings and register to camera and you are good to go. One thing I have to mention is that on the Theta V, we can see that on the side, we only have three buttons, power on, Wi-Fi, and mode button. We don't have a timer button, and we don't have an FM button like Z1. So if you want the Theta V, start up with the default timer settings. You have to use a combo key to power up the Theta V, just like this. If you power on directly with power on, with power on button, the Theta V will start with handheld HDR but without timer. And if you hold the Wi-Fi button and the power on button at the same time, and now you can see the Theta V will start up. And after the starting finish, this blue light will turn green, which indicate that you are now in a timer mode, right? Now you can see, now it's green and click on that. Right? That's the tricky part about the Cita V. Let's talk about the handheld HDR on the Cita Z1. Because on the Cita Z1, there are some minor differences compared with Cita V. And with this OLED panel, it will give you a very good feedback before you take every shot. First step, let's uh, open the Wi-Fi. And here in the option settings, the same as Cita V, we have the handheld HDR, okay? And click on this option settings. We can only take JPEG shots on the Cita Z1 if you want to utilize the handheld HDR. And the good thing about Z1 is that we now have ISO sensitivity upper limit. I want the best possible quality, even straight out from the camera. And the camera shutter volume set to high as euro. And set timer two seconds. Okay, and settings, 
uh, register to camera and now you have complete configuring my settings so next time you open up your z1 the z1 will automatically set to handheld hdr with two second timer now let's take a shot i will intentionally uh, shake in my hand uh, yeah <laughs> you can see i'm shaking my hand normally we are taking a shot uh, like this so it's fairly stable in, hand, in your hand this is this one was captured with handheld hdr you can see this imaging quality is just amazing right this is just amazing you can see the setup in my youtube studio and the one without hdr settings you can see you don't have that much detail and you the highlight has blown out and shadows has been too dark handheld hdr is actually a very good feature of the ctv v and c z1 and compare with c v and c z1 the z1 has the iso upper limit of 200 that will guarantee you have a very good imaging quality and don't forget that we still have a bluetooth remote controller you can find my bluetooth remote control uh, in this description and if you connect your Bluetooth remote control with the CTA-Z1 or CTA-V, you don't have to set timer. Just take out your selfie stick and put your camera to that good orientation, trigger your camera with the remote control, and that's it. And you can get a very interesting, a very good quality JPEG photo straight out from the camera. And right after that, you can share your happiness, your immersive experience during traveling with your friends instantly on Facebook. And by far, the handheld HDR is really the best feature for the Ricoh Seat camera series. If you want the best possible straight out photo from the cameras. So next up, let's go to the real world shooting example. And once it started, you can see the green light turns on and uh, take that. Yes. And one more shot. It's really handy. Okay, I'm done. You can take the shot. Exactly the same as the CW. Now let's take a shot. Yeah, and that's it. That's uh, very easy. And uh, that, that is what I want to share with you in this video. And if you take a handheld HDR in your data life uh, that will help you capture the stunning photo in JPEG and all the stuff to shot in handheld HDR and uh, in camera stitch high dynamic range composition the horizontal line correction so you can take your everyday shot during travel okay that's all for our demo section and now let's go back to the final result wrap up in this video i have shown you the handheld hdr feature that was equipped with ctv v and ctv z1 and registered inside your camera and for the ctv v don't forget to start your camera with combo key and for the ctv z1 just start up and good to go and don't forget the two articles i have shared with you at the beginning of this video i highly recommend you can go through these two articles and have a better a deeper understand on the Ricoh Theta cameras. If you like this video, please sum up, subscribe, and hit notification bell. I will see you in my next video. Bye. <music>